Good evening, sports fans, and welcome to another night of Hiller Volleyball. This is Steve Sweetapple along with Mike Tarosian, and the Hopkinton Hillers welcome Notre Dame Cougars into the field house, which, which should be a, a very competitive match. Great. Very excited for this game. Everyone's been looking forward to this. I was talking to uh, the coach earlier today, and, and it was all business. It was all about Notre Dame. So Hopkinton coming off a fantastic win last night at Medway, 3-0 sweep. So there's a three-way tie for the TVL three -way lead right tie, now. Right now, yep. Medfield, Medway, and Hopkinton. <laughs> Two M's and an H. So let's uh, go to, I think it is uh, D somewhere. D's around somewhere, but let's go to her. Sportsmanship and establishing a healthy environment for interscholastic competition. The league will not tolerate negative statements or actions directed toward competitors, game officials, or fans in attendance. Such actions include taunting, trash talking, and the berating of players or officials. Please respect all decisions made by officials, and please respect fans, coaches, participants, and opponents alike. Thank you for helping create a positive, respectful, and fun environment here at HHS. Now please rise for the playing of our national anthem. All right. So as we said, Hopkinton's coming off a 3-0 win at Medway last night in a fantastic, hard-fought match. And Notre Dame is coming off a 3-1 loss to Westboro. So they're looking to get back in the win column. So that's them right now at 3-4 at and four right now? Yep. Yep, they're at 3-4. and four. And Hopkinton coming in, seven and two. And out there on the floor for the Hillers, we've got Amanda, Allison, Rachel, Jill, yep, Jill, Jess, Angie, and Ivy. For Notre Dame, we have Callie Patterson in the front along with Ellie Murphy and Lillian Taylor. In the back, we have Morgan Kretschmer uh, along with uh, Mary Kenny and can't see who's that in the middle. Oh, that is uh, Colleen uh, Coulter. So rotations are being checked right now by the floor ref, making sure everyone's in check. And Jess will be checking in for Jill. And. Kristen, Court, Kristen Doyle is the uh, senior libero for Notre Dame, and she should be coming in for, I would assume, Mary Kenny. I'm not sure. And I was correct, Mary Kenny. And the serve is going <coughs> to go to our visitors, yep. Notre Dame. And that's Morgan Kretschmer, the junior from Situate. And we're underway. Amanda handles that. Rachel back set to Grabmeyer. Nice put away from Angie. So the Hillers with a quick side out here. 
the uh, Notre Dame team is uh, loaded with juniors and seniors, one soft and one fresh. Yep. So this is a rematch of the uh, state game last year. Yes. Angie hits that deep. Quick tap over. Nice, nice play from Notre Dame. Caught, caught Hopkinton flat-footed. Yeah, great tip from uh, from uh, Lillian Taylor. Lillian Taylor, I was watching during uh, the warm-ups between her and Ellie and El Murphy. Oh, wait a minute. What? Must have been a net violation. Oh, he gave the point to Hopkins. Okay. I'm telling you, those ponytails. Yep. Bring back the bun. Yep. Or the buzz cut. Oh, the buzz cut. I, think, I, I, think. I used to always threaten that with Emma. <laughs> <laughs> she still hates you for it. <laughs> oh, that and that, so many things. It's so many things, right. Nice put away from Ivy. Ivy looking sharp out there. But it was El Murphy and Lillian Taylor I was watching. Um, those are the ones that they're going to have to dig some really hard spikes out from them. Another good serve from Angie. Jess handles that. Goes to Angie. She goes outside to Rachel. Tip to the net. Kept alive. Notre Dame goes right. long. long. Good eyes from Jess. Taylor, the 5'8 uh, senior. From Weymouth. Nine towns represented here with this Notre Dame team. Coming into the game, Angie had 29 service points. Outside to Amanda. Nice put away. Yeah, she found that nice, nice open space there in the back. Oh, a little miscommunication there yeah. from Notre Dame. Big campfire. About five of them around that one. Nice, nice pancake from Notre Dame. Net violation. Yeah, Kristen Doyle, the, uh, <coughs> the libero. Senior captain. Angie floats that one deep. Tipped at the net. Kept alive by Allison. Angie goes outside to Rachel. She pumps it deep. Notre Dame goes outside. Allison digs that. And double hit from double Angie. Hit. Side out to the Cougars. You know, it's an obvious double hit when we can hear it up here in the booth. Yep. Yep. When you can, you can hear it and see it. Yes. From the floor, though, I, I tell you, the last couple games I've been uh, down on the floor running camera. Uh, I do enjoy that much more. However, um, I don't get to see all those double yep. hits. I get to see a lot of things going on at the net as well as uh, um, seeing uh, where the ball is hitting, whether it's in, in play or out. When it comes close to the line. Angie handles that serve. Rachel goes to Amanda, cross court. And Shank to the bench. Cougars can't handle that. Side out Hopkinton. That was Carly Pattison that got her hands on it, but it was just hit too hard. Amanda back to serve. Bella's coming in for Allison. Nice, nice serve. Nice and strong. And oh. net violation from the uh, Notre Dame. I believe that was uh, Mary Kenny, the uh, other captain. Hopkinton opening up a seven point lead. Ooh. Oh. Ivy thought she was going to get it, but that was. Uh, Mary Kenny was able to beat her to the ball and just tip it to the side. Lily Taylor serving. 
Six point lead for Hopkinton here in the first set. That's and long. that's, ooh, ooh, just caught the line. Well, I think that, oh, ooh. they did give it to Hopkinton. <laughs> well, okay. That, I won't say nothing. Nope. Jess Miller to serve. <laughs> Joe Sarapusco uh, checking in. Nice. Jess using all the net. And that was long. Yep, Notre Dame pumps that long. I love those ropes that just tip the just, net. Yep. It throws it off a little bit and very hard to uh, return. Oh, nice. Nice get from Amanda. Bella, Angie, outside to Rachel. Kept alive by Notre Dame. Girls should have a free ball here. See if they take advantage of it. Yeah, Angie, outside. Right. Bella, cross court. Yeah, and Crushford just shanked it over to the bench. She couldn't double. Yep. Morgan Galvin couldn't handle that. No. Hillers with a, their largest lead here in the first set, eight points. That's a wow. nice easy one for Jill. Jill just owned that. That whole almost ball. looked like a dunk. Yeah. <laughs> Thirteen to three. A nice armbar from Notre Dame kept it alive. Here's Jill, Angie, back to Jill. Net violation. Wow. Hillers did a great job saving the, <laughs> the ball anyway. I'd say that was a great block by Kenny for Notre Dame. But you got to stay off the net. Jess goes down the line. Well, misplayed by Taylor. Taylor. Yeah, it looked like she was looking to see where the... Uh, where the posts were for the right. net. Yeah, she did almost a full 360 for that. Jess floats that one in. This could be trouble, yeah. and it is. A little bit of an easy first set than what I was expecting. Yeah. And yep. I'm sure the Hillers weren't expecting this well, either. I think this could be a bit of a rebuilding year at Notre Dame. Sure. I mean, Grant, they do have an older team. Oh, great wow. block. Oh, boy. I think that went off of, that <laughs> went back at Notre Dame faster than it went at Jill. <laughs> sure did. Jill was right there saying, not getting through me. A nice save from Jill. Angie goes outside. Rachel, nice swing. Yeah, that was on the verge of going out. Yeah. Yep. But sure enough, uh, thank goodness that uh, Kristen Doyle couldn't handle it and shanked it behind her. Yeah, we got a time yep. for the Cougars. A much needed timeout. Yeah. Usually you see him at eight points, but here, you know, he knows yeah. 15, I guess. Coach Shepard is, uh, yeah, thinking 15 points might be a little bit too much right. here. Bring him in, rail him in. Uh, I was watching him on the side during... Uh, uh, the first 21 points here and after every point that Hopkins scored he was telling his the, the subs the bench you know more instruction you know got to watch for this watch for this so I'm hoping to see a, a more exciting second set um, as they learn how to adjust to uh, the Hillers in their ball placement yeah there's a lot of a lot of coaching going on in that circle right now right I see him taking the full uh, <laughs> yeah, minute it's 15 take, yep which I wouldn't blame them. You're going to need that against Coach Grabmeyer. Yeah, so the next three games, the girls are on the road after this. Next All right, we get a little break. We do. Next yes. home game is October 13th. Ashland 13th. comes to town, and that's the Dig Pink. Oh, oh, would that be Friday the 13th? It would be Friday the 13th. Friday the 13th. So everyone will be uh, resplendent in their pink. Yep. And it's a great for a great cause great cause the site out foundation which uh goes towards uh cancer education and a cure as well a uh, lot of fun prizes last year was the pink bicycle as we remember uh chip collins coming out riding that yep. was a lot of fun 
Uh, so I, I'm expecting them to, they do better every year. We'll see what they have in store. Oh, a little yeah. paintbrush. Yeah, it was a difficult set to handle. And Co-captain Mary Kenny there with the paintbrush. Just put together a good string of serves here. Sure has. Notre Dame handles that. They go outside. Yep, nice swing. Amanda couldn't handle that. Came in at a sharp angle. Yeah, it was a nice hit by Galvin and just could not get behind it all the way. Side out to the Cougars. Trailing by 15. Kelly Patterson a serve. And nice that goes long. Side out Hopkinton. Still a playable ball, but you might as well take the side out. Jenna Wilworth checking in. Angie goes out. I'm not going to say uh, I'm predicting it, but I think Rachel will serve to the end. And net violation. That's, I think that's six so far in this first set. It's at least five. Maybe I should start keeping track of those. Zale sends that one to the back line, but handled well by Notre Dame for a side out. And she found a, one of the rare open holes on the hill of floor. Mia comes in for Rachel. And back to serve for Notre Dame is Mary Kenny, co-captain. Senior from Milton. Outside, Jenna, handled well by Kenny. Back row hit, just pushes it deep. Amanda to Mia, outside. Bella, oh. Oh, good fake. <laughs> Great fake by Bella. Looked like a little reverse tomahawk chop there. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what it was, uh, but it worked. It went over. They were expecting a spike, and she just, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll say tomahawked it over. I'll go with that. Allison Lorette to serve. Jess to Mia. She goes back row to Allison. That's, oh, Allison hits that long. Oh, a little uh, premature there. Started her wind up before the whistle. Jess to Mia short to Sarah Pusco for a side out. Not a powerful hit, but still uh, strong enough to make it through. Lydia Rudding checks in for Jill, and Ivy comes in for Jess. And Lydia back to serve. The last home game, Lydia had a heck of a run. Yep. Uh, in the, what was it, first set? Yep. First set was amazing. Mia to Allison. Nice tip over from Amanda. Notre Dame, so Lydia, that's going to be tough. Oh, Allison, yeah, good save. Go. Oh, oh, short. Oh, short. Nice hustle from Lorette. That was on its way out, but still playable. Yep. Side out to the Cougars. Jess comes back in. Hopkinton two points away from taking this first set. Allison to Mia, outside to Jenna. Nice put away wow. from Jenna. She didn't get much height on no, it, but she, she was able she, to get that ball down low to the front. Yeah, the set wasn't where she was expecting it, yeah. so she was caught flat-footed. Yeah. Rachel checking in as well as Angie. Just to make it over the <coughs> net. She's, she should be lucky on that one. And Angie goes back to serve, see if she can close this first set out. Substitutions you, are recorded. I, I, I like these refereeing jobs, but I would not want to be the floor ref in charge of the rotations. No, nice oh, swing. That was nice in. Yep, Patterson hit that well. Hopkinton thought it was going long. 
Notre Dame lives for another point. 24 to eight, Hiller's in front. Ellie Murphy serving. Junior from Quincy. Jess receives that, goes to Rachel outside to Amanda, and into the net. No, nice block put up by Catherine uh, Maleri. She's a 5'8 junior. Jess gets to that. Rachel goes in the middle to Ivy, and that's a put away from Ivy. Nice swing from Gogolin. So that takes the first set 25 to 9. Girls are going to switch sides. We'll take a quick break and we'll be back in just a minute. When I have an asthma attack, I feel scared. Sometimes my parents have to take me to the hospital. I feel like a fish with no water. You know how to react to their asthma attacks. Here's how to prevent them. Call 1-866-NO-ATTACKS. Visit www.noattacks.org or call your doctor. Because even one attack is one too many. And we're back for set number two. Hopkinton took that first set, 25 to nine, I think was the final. Yep. What do we have for stats, Mike? Well, thank you for uh, managers down there. That helps us out every game. With two digs, we have Amanda, Jess, and Allison. One dig from Rachel, Ivy, and uh, Jill. In the kill department, uh, Jill led with three, followed by two from Amanda, Ivy, and Bella. And it looks like uh, one kill apiece for Rachel and Jenna. Yep, and in the blocks department, one big block by Jill, which we all talked about earlier. And in the assist department, of course, Angie with leading with six, followed behind uh, Mia with three, and Rachel with two. Nice distribution of points yeah. there from the girls. It's always good to spread them up. And out there in the floor in the back row, we've got Amanda, Ivy, and Mia with Jess checking in for Ivy. And in the front row, we have Bella, uh, Jill, and Jenna. Notre Dame Academy's front row is uh, Kretschmer, Murphy, and Taylor. And oh, side out, Notre Dame. Behind the antenna? Yep. yep. Well, Mia couldn't get to that. Jenna couldn't, wasn't able to pass the ball to the, with any efficiency there. Morgan Kretschmer, Kretschmer, Kretschmer. We should have gotten Kretsch. the correct pronunciation there. Yeah. Well, they can always send us an e email when they watch Oh, online. nice block from Jill. Side out Hopkinton. Allison checks in for Bella. And Allison will go back to serve. <laughs> nice knuckleball from Allison. Amanda gets to that. Mia back set to Jenna. She goes deep, kept alive. Oh. The net helped it over. Amanda, nice save. And then, oh, great swing nice. kept alive by Notre Dame. Great dig. Allison gets to that. Mia. Just, just. <laughs> oh, tips the net. <laughs> great hustle from Notre Dame. Mia. Jess. Amanda just pops that over. Wow, nice and easy one. And she yep. uh, took advantage of that open space. Good hustle from both, uh, both teams on that point. Yeah, that was a very nice rally. 2-2 here early in the second set. Hopkinton took the first set rather convincingly. And I got trouble with that. Yeah. 
Allison has 23 service points coming into this match. That's a great serve. Handled well by Notre Dame. Back row hit. Jess handles that. Goes to Mia. She goes outside to Amanda. Tipped over. Nice. Nice point. Set was close to the net. Amanda did well with it, though. Yeah, kept it close, kept it in the middle. Caused them to bunch up and hit it just to save it. Mia. Jenna. Oop, oh. Miss hit. Oh, no. Nice nice try from Jess. Yeah, not much you can do with that. Nope. Side out to the Cougars. Ellie Murphy back to serve. Hopkinton with a one point lead. Jess, Mia goes short. Jill with a nice put away. Side yeah, out, Hopkinton. She made that look easy. Lydia Rudden checking in, as well as Ivy and Jess go through their exchange. Different every time. It's yep. always something. Lydia Rudden serving. Ooh, just float long. that long. I thought that was going to drop. Yeah, you know, it's, again, still playable, but that was a smart move. Get the side out. You're, you're within a point. Jess comes back in. Allison handles that. Mia goes to Jenna. Cross court, nice swing. Yeah, she went weak side of uh, Galvin. Didn't stand a chance. Rachel Zale checking in. But you can see already how much this Cougar team has already adjusted their play from the first set. Yep. And Angie Grabmeyer checks in. She'll go back to serve. Hillers with a two-point lead. Oh, line drive nice. from Angie. That's oh, going to be tough. Yep. They couldn't control the ball off the net. Good serve from Grabmeyer. Keeping it so close to the net is key. Yep. Uh, to, to build it up your points. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> Angie's got a 92.8% serve percentage. That's long. That's very long. Oh, nice knuckleball. Nice. That just dropped right in. Good ace. Coach was very happy with that. I Had was going to say, I saw a smile on Big ear to ear smile. face there. One of the rare smiles you see on her face. Here comes a back row hit. Allison handles that. Angie. Amanda. Oh, good. Good quick set over. Oh. Net violation. Uh, it's too bad, you know. Oh, double hit. I didn't hear that one. Maybe it could have been both, but they chose right. one. <laughs> and Coach Shepard calls a timeout. Hiller's ahead by six. It's a rare six-point timeout. Yeah. It's usually well, seven and above. Seven and above. Well, I'll take this moment here to thank our wonderful crew again coming out tonight. John Ritz on the floor with a nice uh, shot of the, the team there in the timeout. Mary Arnott keeping you with all the action. She does not let the ball leave her frame. And making all the switches, Tom Dings. And keeping that score accurate and fast is Samantha Dings doing the graphics. Thank you again for coming out, guys. This show cannot be done without you. The volunteers. Yeah, the volunteers even traveled. That's right. Uh, Tom, Diggs, Tom Diggs went out to Medway last night to uh, go do the Medway game with Tom Nappy, which is up on YouTube right now if anyone wants to go take a look. HKM.TV slash Hill of Sports. Let's see if Angie can keep this going. Notre Dame receives a serve well. 
Nice block from Ivy. Perfect position. Seven point lead for the Hillers. That's a free hit. Yeah, I thought I thought Ivy was gonna take it. Yeah. She looked like she wanted to. She looked like she was debating whether to do it or not. Nice back row hit. Angie goes outside to Rachel. Oh, almost a double hit yep. there. Ooh. Amanda, nice dig. That'll be free. Turn yep. into free. Ivy, no hesitation on that one. Jess takes that. Angie. Allison. Looked like Angie wanted to set Jess up right. for a back row hit. Oh. And Notre Dame pays back. Yeah, that, Hopkinton. Was, that was a very quick hit by uh, Catherine Maleri. Julia Savage back to serve. Notre Dame down by eight. Jess receives that well. Rachel goes outside to Amanda. Down the line. Oh. And that's just long. Nice play by uh, the defensive specialist for Notre Dame. Bella checks in for the Hillers. And Amanda back to serve. And serves that one long. Side out. Notre Dame. Good eye by Julia Savage. Kristen Doyle to serve. One of the two captains. A senior from Weymouth. Oh, oh and, nice fake. Yep. I was up. A little, little confusion there on Notre yeah. Dame. They couldn't <laughs> get out of the way. Well, let me tell you something. I was, I was waiting for Bella to come in over. She was coming over, hit it, and then it went. <laughs> Sarah Pusco checks in as well as Bella. Jess back to serve. 15 to six, Hillers in front. Hopkinton took the first set. Oh, Jess gets that uh, double hit on Angie. Side out, Notre Dame. Lily Taylor to serve. Bella handles that. Angie goes back set to Rachel. Amanda to Angie. Back to Zale. Nice put away from Rachel. Yeah, she found a big wide open corner. Yep. And there was, wasn't a chance that Doyle was going to put a hand on it. Jenna checking in for Angie and Mia for Rachel. Mia will go back to serve. Oh, it's two into the net for Mia. Side out, Cougars. I know what the, she'll be working on on practice on Saturday. Yeah. Nice block of the net from Notre Dame, but Bella saved it. And good cross-court swing from Bella. Net violation. On number 15. 15. Murphy. Allison Lorette checking in. She'll go back to serve. Oh, 
Nice serve from Allison. Notre Dame couldn't handle it. Hiller is with a 10 point lead here late in the second set. Allison to Mia, goes outside to Amanda, blocked. Wow. Ooh, good reflex from Allison. Big block by Ellie Murphy. She's going to go back to serve. Yep, Huge side out. block. A lot better second set. Yep. You can see they adjusted well. Allison to Mia, outside to Gilbert, and she... Says not this time. Nope. Sure, on weak side of Kretschmer. It was able to. There's the Jess and Ivy exchange. That was a quick one. Yeah. Lydia comes in. She'll go back to serve. And Cecily McNamara checking in for the first time. Oh, oh sure. Lydia was just trying to go to the open spot I right in front. I think she hit it too late. Just a little too late. Side out, Notre Dame. Outside to Gilbert, blocked again. That's two blocks. Yeah. Catherine Maleri with the, putting the roof on that one. Yeah, Hopkins has had too many uh, service errors in this second set four so far. And down the line. Nice point. Yep. Great point. Good swing from uh, Kirchmer. Notre Dame within seven. That's long. Yes, that's out. Nice eyes from Allison. Yep. Not out by close. much, but no, it, was it was close. Yeah. I almost questioned myself after I said the word out. <laughs> Rachel comes in for Mia, and Angie comes in for Jenna. Angie will go back to serve. Hiller's five points away from taking the second set. Oh, Ooh. there you go. We'll take it. Don't have to be pretty. Nope. That Just one, has to go over. That one walked up and over. <laughs> Jess comes in for Lydia. Twenty-one fourteen. Angie floats that one to the back. And nice block from Cecily. Block. Beautiful block. I think Sir Pusco is more excited about that block than, yeah. <laughs> than McNamara was. <laughs> Cecily's got her own personal fan club there, and Jill tipped at the net. Oh! By oh! No, I hit the floor. Hit the floor. But that's it. Keep playing until you hear the whistle. Yep. Why not? Yep. Great effort by, by Jess. Julia Savage serving. Handled by Angie. Rachel goes to Allison from the back. Nice swing. Oh, great block from Another Cecily. Let's, there you go. Let's see what Jill does this time. No, it's just the first one you get a, your own personal <laughs> cheer. Bella Ansi checks in. Amanda Gilbert serving. Yeah, they have a little communication problem over there on the Cougar side. Oh, oh late hit. Yep. Bella's timing was off on that approach. Doyle back to serve. Bella, Angie, outside to Zale. Nice dig from Doyle. 
Quick pushover. Bella saves that. Angie once again goes to Rachel. Oh, nice, nice play. Nice placement. Wow. Good court savvy there from Zale. Lydia checks in. Sarah Pusco in. Just back to serve, trying to close out the second set. Girls should have a free ball here. Allison, Angie, short to Sarah Pusco. Kept alive. See what they do this time. Going outside to Bella. Nope, to Rachel. And that's it. Zale with a nice kill to end the second set, 25 to 14. Girls will switch sides. We'll take a break and we'll be right back. My name is Kurt. My name is Nina. I'm Kai. I'm Haley. My name is Sasha. We're the Hiller Volleyball Team. My name is Emma. My name is May. My name is Shelby. My name is Sophie. We're Al and Gal and we love H-Camp. Hey, I like to be a camp. We love H-Camp. And I volunteer for H-Camp TV. I watch HCAM TV. And I love HCAM TV. And I love HCAM TV. We love HCAM TV. Woo! And we're back for set number two. Hopkinton uh, took that set, although Notre Dame uh, put a, a much stronger performance in the second set as compared to the first set. And we've got our stats yeah, coming up. And you know what? With the with the close score, we there was four of those points were given to him by the Hillers. Yep. So it was errors. still the same, but the first part of that first set, uh, second set looked so much closer. You could see how they were making the adjustments, but of course the Hillers were able to change up and readjust from that. They said, all right, they're catching on to us. Let's change it up a bit. What do we have for stats, Mike? Oh, in the big kill department, Amanda led with four, followed by Rachel with three, and one's a wild with Jill, Angie, Jenna, Ivy, and Bella. In the blocks, Cecily with her two that we saw, and of course she was cheered upon. Uh, Ivy, Jenna, and Jill all had one apiece. In the dig department, Jess with a big five digs, followed by two with Amanda and Angie, and one by Allison. And with the assist, Mia led with four, followed by Angie with three, and Rachel with one. And out there on the floor for the Hillers, we've got at the front row, Ashley McDermott checking in for the first time tonight with uh, Mia and Jenna. And then the back row of Angie, Cecily, and Morgan Allen as well for the first time. And Jess will come in as the libero, most likely for Cecily. Yep, there yep, they go. There it is. Rotations are set. Notre Dame gets the ball. And Lily Taylor will get the third set underway. Morgan handles that. Mia gets to it, bumps it outside to Jenna. Nice placement from Jenna. Ooh. Oh! Wow. That, that, that hit Morgan square in the chin. Yeah, that was uh, that was one tough hit by Kylie Patterson, and you got the old Chester right there. Yep. Oh, yeah, oh, nice serve. Caught the top of the net and just threw Jenna's timing off. Top of the net rolled off of Jenna, and then of course it rolled off of Mia. First lead for Notre Dame. Morgan gets to that. Yep. Mia tripped, slipped. Trying to get to that second ball. Coach Grabmeyer looks like she's going to make a little adjustment right here with some uh, words to that back row. Angie to Mia. Back row hit Grabmeyer. Nice swing from Angie. Kept alive. Notre Dame goes outside. Man. Well done. Good swing. Yeah, just tried that arm bar to keep it in, but yep, it was a little too far. Morgan Galvin with a nice put away from the outside. 4-0, Notre Dame in front. 
Jess goes to Mia. She goes outside to Jenna. Kept alive. Oh. Jess started to that and then stopped. A little miscommunication there with yeah, Mor Morgan. I, th I thought Morgan was going to go for it and just, uh, I, I still thought it was her ball. Girls need a side out here. No foot fault. Double hit. Go, oh, carry. Oh, carry. So, same thing. There's, there's your carry, Mary. <laughs> so, if they don't side out here, I'm, I'm predicting a seven point timeout. Jess to Mia. Jenna. Nice play from Wilworth. There it is. Side out, Hillers. Belance, he'll check in for Morgan. And Jenna goes back to serve. Another service error. Well, Lydia like Rudden. The, looked like the floor ref was going to call something there. I don't think he was liking the uh, the placement. But we're ready to go. Rudden to Grabmeyer. Oh, Bella can't keep it in. Jess, Angie, back set to Mia. Didn't look like Mia was too ready for that. Oh! So, and I think Coach Grabmeyer is taking a timeout here. Yeah, he should. No. Eight point lead for the Cougars. And there's a side out. Sometimes those side outs will make all the difference and you don't need to waste that time out. Yep. Cecily checking in. McDermott back to serve. Yeah. Tipped, blocked by Hopkinton. Kept alive, nice put away from Patterson. Jess checking back in. And Patterson back to serve. Cougars in front by eight here in the third set. Hoppington took the first two sets in the best of five. Well handled by Jess. Outside to Ansi. Could be a free hit. Oh, oh campfire. It looked like Mio was expecting Cecily to come over and take that free hit. Cecily wasn't moving. Bella pushes that wide. Amanda coming in for Lydia. Yeah, Amanda and Allison uh, just got a few words from Coach Grabby before they checked in. So let's see what happens here. But uh, the hill of timeout is, I think, overdue. Amanda goes short. Nice play from Sarah Pusco. Good set from Angie. Side out Hillers. Okay, let's see if Mia keeps the serve in play. Nice knuckleball. Notre Dame not going away. Not at all.
Cougars in front by 10. Jess to Angie, outside to Allison. Notre Dame goes outside. Amanda hits the floor. Mia, oh. Angie, nope. Oh. Yeah, she had too much momentum going backwards to really be positive on that ball. Nope. Murphy sends that long. Good eyes from Jess. Side out, Hopkinton. Allison needs to uh, rally the team right here. At least six points. There's one. Okay. I think she heard me. <laughs> Although I know these kids are watching these games, everyone's watching these games. Uh, the Millis game alone, just from the other night, 149 views. Oh, really? On YouTube, 149 just from the other night. Nice dig from Allison. Mia just bumped over by Amanda. Oh, good arm bar from Jess. Yeah, great play. Great. And Amanda puts that one away. Yeah, threw the arms of Lily and Taylor, which was nice. This is what the Hillers need right here. Yep. Showing a little grit. And Notre Dame calls a timeout there. Yeah, they, 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 they know what Allison can do, and they want to ice her down a little bit. So uh, we'll see if the, they take that full minute 15 to I guarantee they cool do. her off a bit. But they'll make the, uh, they'll make the change accordingly. So the girls' next home game is until Friday, October 13th. 13th. Dig pink. Ashland comes into the field house. Yep, everyone can go to the Side Out Foundation, and you can, I don't have the website, but you go to the Sound Out, Side Out Foundation and look up your hillers there, and you can make donations directly to the team. Uh, you can come in here. They'll be selling raffles for baskets. Uh, I believe they're doing a 50-50. And, of course, there'll be more information on hcam.tv, HCAM TV um, as well. So look for it there and uh, help out a good cause. Let's... Uh, Beat this cancer thing, eh? Yeah, they took a good minute. Yep. yep. They used up almost all the allotted time. Each team is used. I don't know. Hopkinton hasn't called a timeout. No, they haven't called one. I thought they I needed it. I wanted them yeah, to. We, we, <laughs> we, were, we were calling for one. Yeah. Oh, quick, oh, quick great. dump over. Quick dump over. Wow, very smart move. Nice side out from Notre Dame. And that that's what you want. That's what those timeouts are for. Kristen Doyle back to serve. NDA back in front by eight. Jess to Mia, short set. Nice, smart play from Cecily. Yeah, a little alley oop, not too high. Ashley put it in McDermott the middle. checks in. Put it in the middle of that open space. Jess back to serve. There's a free, free hit. hit. Nope, hit the oh. antenna. This Cougar team is not giving up. Nope, they are not. Allison to Mia, outside to Gilbert, blocked. Allison gets to that. Mia goes outside to Angie, tip over, kept alive. Nicely by Notre Dame. Uh, great block from Ashley. 
Yeah, Notre Dame's had much more success at the net hitting from the middle than outside. Right. Rachel checking in. Grabmeyer back to serve. And a little mishandle there from Kenny. Yeah, her arms went straight her, instead of up. Actually, it was Ellie Murphy. Murphy, yeah. Jess to Angie, outside to Zale. And into the net. Hitting error from Notre Dame. Hillers within five. And that's okay. wide. Hillers creeping within four. Jess, Angie, outside to Zale. Down the line, nice swing from Rachel. Nice control. Yeah, she's good at finding those corners. Angie needs to keep this going to at least to go ahead. Again with the miss hit. And that's long. Good eyes from it. Ooh. What? <laughs> okay, they're one they're one for one though, though. One for one, yes. We got one. They got one. That's not the one I want them to have though. No. Lily Taylor back to serve. Oh. A little confusion there between Angie and Jess. Five point lead for Notre Dame. Angie handles that one. Rachel goes outside to Amanda, and that's long. And now Coach Grabmeyer does call a timeout. Right. I mean, we, we've given them, we've given them <laughs> plenty of points. Uh, now. It's, she can't call timeout. Oh. Well, oh, there was a. Oh, no, they called a tip at the net when oh, Amanda hit it. Oh, there was a tip. Yeah. Oh, okay. Up, All the right. up official called a tip. There you go. I missed that. So side out. Or Don't no, need it. No, it doesn't. It stays Hopkinton. Stays Hopkinton, right? We're all confused. What day is it? <laughs> what if I said Friday? I wish it was true. Nice put nice. away from Allison. Nice. I'd take a Friday late, huh? Yeah. See, tomorrow's being Friday. i got to work at 24. <laughs> so maybe you don't want it to be I Friday. I don't want it to be Friday, though. No. And Pattison hits that long. So the Hillers within two. Although I actually I am looking forward to tomorrow because I'm going to bring the crop clock into work and make a big chili for everyone. Oh, nice oh, try nice. from Jess. Yeah, nice defense from Jess, but a really nice hit from Patterson. Notre Dame in front by three. Here in the third set. Jess, Angie back set to Zale. Nice yeah. put away from Rachel. Hillers back within two. Cecily checking in for Jess. McDermott back to serve. Uh -oh. 
Amanda just gets that over. Notre Dame goes outside. Angie, Amanda, Allison. Nice, 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 nice cut from Allison. That spun off the block there and went yep. down. That was perfect. Hiller's within one. It's been a long road to get here, and yes, yeah, the Shepherd Cougar called time it out. <laughs> He was walking to the ref, trying to decide, do I want yeah, to take it or not? do it. Yeah, yeah, you better do it. Yeah, Very so smart move. I think he'll take the whole minute 15 again. Yeah, but much more uh, improved play. Uh, th it looks like they had some kind of strategy there, the Cougars. Um, and they battled strong. I mean, going up front with, what, five, six unanswered points? Mm -hmm. And then to, uh, to see the Hillers struggle a little bit, um, trying to find out what it was they were doing, why they were so off. Uh, but they finally caught up. It took, a, it took a while to get there. So out there f on the floor for the Hillers, we've got in the front row, Rachel, Cecily, and Allison. And in the back, Angie, Amanda, and Ashley. Let's see if Ashley can get this tied up. That was one of the quickest timeouts they <coughs> took. They took 55 seconds. Notre Dame's used all of their timeouts. Each team gets two per set. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a lot of time on that one. We got eight seconds, right, for the whistle? Yeah, yep. Into the net, tied up at 19. <coughs> Nice serve from Ashley. Outside, tipped at the net, kept nice. alive by McDermott. Angie goes outside to Zale. Oh, nice save from the libero. Oh, little, little miscommunication yeah. there from Notre Dame. Big hesitation, and she was in position the whole time, too. So Hopkinton with a one-point lead here in the third set. Their first lead of the set. <laughs> And Patterson with another nice hit. Patterson has a nice laser yep. for a spike. Yep. The only problem lately was that I've seen was the positioning, and that was probably her best spike of the uh, of the evening. Amanda handles that nicely. Angie, quick dump over. Nice, nice. play from Grabmeyer. Good heads up. Great the fake. Sophomore. Great fake. Rachel back to serve. Hillers back in front by one. Nice block from Cecily. Kept alive. Jess goes to Rachel short. Nice put away. Oh, I thought Three Cecily hit. was going to yeah. put it away. Nice play from Notre Dame. Amanda, Rachel, outside to Allison, cross court, kept alive. Both teams hustling it out here. Grabmeyer goes deep, kept alive. Notre Dame outside. Allison nice. hits the floor, Angie gets to it. Amanda just bumps it over. Amanda gets to that. Zale, Allison's gonna have to hustle if she just That's bumps it, nice. And nice put away from Murphy. Not only the longest rally, but the best rally of the evening right there. Yeah, there's a lot of open space on the Hopkinton side. Murphy hit it well. Tied up at 21. And Murphy that, goes back to serve. That's what happens on those long rallies. Somebody's going to open up a hole on the floor. Yep. Just who, who gets to it first. Jess. Angie. Outside to Allison. And Mia saves that. 
Oh, no, yep. outside the antenna. Glad you can see that. I can't see that. Mia, Angie, back row hit for Jess. Oh, Jess hits the floor. Allison keeps that alive. Nice block from Cecily. Tied up at 22. Side out Hopkinton. Let's Four see hits. if Allison yep. can have three sets. There are three serves here to close this match out. I think she can. I'll put a nickel on it. I don't have a nickel. Ann didn't give me my allowance. Don't you hate when that happens? Oh, nice save from Lorette. Amanda, and she hits that long, uh -huh. wide. The reason I got Nick, I found in the pocket line the way he hits the game. <laughs> Notre Dame with a one point lead. Jess to Mia, outside to Gilbert. Tipped, kept alive by Notre Dame. That's and then Murphy sails that long. Side out Hopkinton. 23-23. All right, Jess needs to give us the two right here. McDermott checks in. McNamara out. Meller to serve. There's a free hit. Jess to Mia. Outside to Gilbert. And nice swing from Amanda. You missed out low and long. That was still tipped. So here we are, match point. Hopkinton took the first set 25 to nine, took the second set 25-14, and here we are at 24-23. Tipped, Allison, Mia, outside to Gilbert. Blocked, oh, kept alive. Play. Angie, Mia from the back row into the net. Four hits, tied up at 24. <coughs> Two-point game now. Colleen Coulter back to serve. Jess to Mia. Outside to Amanda. Oof. That was a hammer. All right, let's see if Andy can put, Angie can put this away with an ace. What Ra do you think? I think so. Rachel checking in for Mia. Grabmeyer back to serve. 25-24, match point. Well, tied up at 25. Good reaction from Allison. Twenty-five twenty-five. Lily Taylor serving. Floats that one in. Jess handles it. Rachel goes to Grabmeyer in the back. Kept alive by Notre Dame. Pattison. Oh, Allison. Great save. Ashley just pushes that deep. Well, nice point from Notre Dame. Oh, boy. And Coach Grabmeyer calling yeah, timeout. She's going to use it. <laughs> Wow. Notre Dame with a one-point lead here. They can close out this third set with a point. Hopkins needs to get three straight to go home or at least keep one to keep it going. Yep. Very fast timeout. Shepard is taking his time with his girls. And what a quiet crowd. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yep. Grant's a hometown crowd. I only see uh, one Notre Dame parent. I'm assuming parent. 
So out there on the floor, we've got Amanda, Ashley, and Rachel on the front row and back line of Allison, Jess, and Angie. Girls need a quick side out here. Yeah. Yeah, Shepard's using everything. <laughs> He's using it all. He wants to put them away right here and go into set number four. Let's see if it pays off. Taylor serving. Jess to Rachel. Quick dump over. Notre Dame was ready for it. And there's a block. Great save from Pattison. Girls have a free ball here. Angie outside to Zale. Nice no, dig. That, that hit the floor. Yep. Side out Hopkinton. Tied up at 26. Gilbert back to serve. Nice ace from Amanda. Perfect placement. Yep. Match point. Nice determination here from the Hillers. And that's it, a net violation oh, oh, over the net. Over the net. So Hopkinton uh, with a sweep of Notre Dame, but that third set, 28-26, uh, Notre Dame gave them a run for, mon for Notre the money Dame, there. Yeah, Notre Dame really changed up their play. They, they found all the adjustments they had to make, and they saved it the first set, and, and starting off right away with all those unanswered points. Uh, Hopkinton had a battle back the whole time, and then it was uh, neck and neck until the end. Yep. Yep, no, it, Notre Dame had a much, was much better at the net in the third set. That's what I expected, you know, without knowing it was a rebuilding year, but knowing Notre Dame's past, that was what I was expecting for all three sets. Right. So the next home game, Friday, October 13th, Ashton comes to town for the big dig, or the dig, dig pink. pink dig game. Pink. <laughs> and uh, they're on the road for the next three games, so we've got a bit of a break here, but uh, for Mike DeRosian and the rest of the HCAM crew, I'm Steve Steve